My name is Sylvia, and I'm a hairdresser. What I made me decide to, to move from Peru to America was to have a better life, better future for my kids, my family, you know. I used to have a big house, come to here with four kids, living in a small apartment. It was not even an apartment, it was a studio. It was hard. When I came from Peru, I didn't speak English. It was hard for me to look for jobs. And I started cleaning houses. But before I was applying on different jobs. And one day I got a phone call from one hair salon in Hackensack. They were looking for a housekeeper. And I got a job. And I was sweeping the floor, cleaning the salon, make sure everything is organized. And after one day, I decided to go to the beauty school. I said, I can do these things, you know. And I started working in the small salon, medium salons, until one day I decided to open my own salon. I used to have a business in Peru. It was uh, like a gift shop. I was okay, but uh, in our country it's very hard. With the governments, the economy is up and down. You don't have a stability. My daughter, um, she went to beauty school too, and she was a hairdresser already. And we became my partner, and we opened the salon in Radeford. The struggles that we had opening the salon was uh, the money. We didn't even have money, like, to really, you know? But she said, we'll do it. How much you have, how much I have, this is, we, we'll start. I guess we had like five or seven thousand combined. She just had my little brother also, so she was working full time. And the other obstacle was not knowing where to go for the license, for the permits, for the accountant. We learned each step, you know, one by one. We kept on working and whatever we were making, we were just paying for the construction. But my mom is such a strong person. She had to be a mom, uh, be a business owner, and continue her life. When the guy put the car wash for sale or for rent, many people wanted it. I heard, but she went and she interviewed with him. He did a handshake and an agreement right there on the spot. The guy was impressed of how strong she was and he gave it to her. He said, well, you are a woman. She said, so? <laughs> the key is you have to have passion for what you're doing. When you come to the business and you are happy, you make people happy, and people want to come back to your business. Be yourself, you know, and do the right things. I only can say you can dream, you can do it. That's what I can say, because everybody can do it. I did. I came with four kids to this country, and I did.